Hey Aquarius, how are you? This is Mary Ellen coming to you from Moonrise Cottage for your July love reading. And um, I'm going to build the love readings. I'm doing an experiment. Let me know if you'd like it. Okay. So these cards are from your July life path reading. The place where we go really deep to look into your destiny. Your destiny road, my guides are saying. And then the love readings build upon that always. So I decided I'm going to use this as the carpet. Um, if you enjoy the reading and you want to see the extended, it's on Patreon. If you would like to self-book a reading, the links are below. My calendar is currently closed until August. If you want a reading sooner than that, go to my website, use the link, send a contact form, uh, and I'll book you in manually. But there's so much craziness going on because, as most of you know, I'm moving. So I'm coming to the end of a cycle. Many of us are. And Aquarius, you are in the month of July is a very sacred month for you. Things are going to be revealed to you. And it has to do with your ancient self. The revelation of knowledge is the nine of pentacles. So you're going to come into yourself in great regard. This is about manifesting. That's the ace of cups. So there's a lot. Go watch this reading. I'll put one of those little things in the sky there. You can click on it at the end. Okay. So it's a story about how when the new moon comes, this revelation that you are experiencing is going to bring this great leaping out. That's the Ten of Cups. This is on your soul destiny uh, division to part of your reading. Okay, so we're going to look at how this occurs because something is happening for you in the realm of love. There's going to be a tower moment when you are going to come out of your disguise and bring an end to anything that stands in the way of a true love connection. Something's, this is the Eight of Cups, something is going to be left behind. So the reading started with this, that's the Death card, and then the Queen of Cups. Balancing, revelation, new life, manifesting, and Kundalini awakening. Holy Moses, okay? So the Oracle cards that um, you just saw me shuffling, here's what came out. So loving all that is, it's a very mystical moment. Let yourself be in the mystic when it comes to the realm of love in your life for the month of July. It's going to feel this way because of all of this, okay? So that's kind of how you're, how you're sitting inside the love cycle for the month of July. And this is demonstrating to us. Do you see how the numerology adds up to an 11? There is somebody. It's going to be very powerful, this connection, whatever it is. And I love the fact that it's moon flowers. So make sure you follow the astrology about the cycle of the moon. Part of what uh, is happening for you, very clearly, I have no doubt in my mind because of how the Life Path reading came out, you are going to be initiated on the new moon. Whatever this is about, it might come forward. So if you're in a currently committed relationship, be prepared for some growth, some opening on the moon cycle. This card is the goddess of sovereignty. She reveals herself. She's in disguise. And the new moon comes and a portal opens. And she is able to be seen. She reveals herself, and here we have the revelation of knowledge. So something phenomenal, and when she reveals herself, it literally changes destiny. That's the story, and look, there's the tower card. It's astounding. So somebody with whom you're very, very connected in a very sacred spiritual way could be anybody, all right? It really could. Look widely in your life. These readings, all, all tarot readings, Bring forward some information about the cycle that you're in at the moment. And your partner, this person, is in the process of becoming who they're meant to be. So I think you're reflecting each other. You're both going through a similar cycle. I'm wondering if you're with an air sign or perhaps a fire sign. There's water, there, there's a lot. So there's something that's coming together as a result of this pearl threaded relationship. Somebody that you're really, truly very, very connected with. So let's take a look. When you watch this reading, you'll see that this came out. So we're going to take a look at you. We're going to take a look at the connection. 
and we're going to take a look at your partner in the end we're going to pull a rune okay and then the extended will come out so because of this ten of cups you're going on a brand new adventure the ace of pentacles this love is going to bring a lot of abundance and my guides are saying the words it's going to be love abundance along with pentacles and you're going to walk through the gate into your destiny and i love that there are lilies here because we have the death card, death and transformation. This is the part of rebirth. This is the moment of rebirth. So I'm going to put it right here. Clearly, that's what it's about. They're, you're going to celebrate in a way that's profound. Three of Cups. That's Three of Cups. That was the outcome for your life path. So there's some great celebration going on because of a connection that's bringing a massive amount of abundance to you and to your partner. And there's going to, and there's the Queen of Cups again. So we're talking about you as the Queen of Cups, reaching the moment where you're able to take the lid off the cup and share your love and your creativity and all that is meant to be manifest. See that manifestation? That's what that's about. That's literally what that's about. Go watch the reading, okay? So this is you. Let's take a look at your partner. Showing up as the Six of Wands, okay? Maybe a fire sign. We don't know yet. Could be anything, right? We're talking about the energy. It's passionate. This person is taking a journey because they intend to have victory in life and in love. And it's showing up right here. <laughs> With the tower card, some great change has to happen in order for them to be available. And look, there's the eight of cups again. This person is also going through a transformation. It is on the moon cycle. You see the full moon and the new moon right there. They're walking into their destiny. They also are having their ace of pentacles moment. So they are walking into their future. They've taken their cup and they're carrying it forward. And I think this person might be going through some kind of a transformation, some kind of an ending, a new beginning that was perhaps quite difficult. That's what that's about. That's about the benefit of having obstacles in your life and how it causes you to dig deep and to pop up the other side, ready, whole, healed, and taking advantage of the energy that's coming forward for you. So, this person, whoever they are, they're having some kind of an adventure that's queued up to that because they, they want Ten of Pentacles. They want the whole enchilada. They want the castle, you know, the partnership, the grandparents, the kids, the dogs. They just want this kind of bliss in their life. And they are going out to find it. That's what this person is literally doing. So I like it. It might be a moment. You see how the card becoming? That's what's going on for many of your partners. And the relationship, you see how you have your backs to each other? It's because you are each focusing on your own transition, your own, my guide said transportation, and yes, it's true, um, transit. They're talking about transit, the way a life transits. You're both working on understanding what the blessings are and you may be feeling in awe and i i'm a virgo go watch the virgo reading i'm going to publish the um the extended because i'm going to do a live stream next week about this topic because i think most of us for some reason having to do with the astrology we're all going through this look this relationship this bond is very deep it's undeniable you are each rightly doing your own work and paying attention to your own cycle so that this bonding that's meant to come through, there's a lot of prediction in this reading about this bond and what has to happen and it's death and rebirth. And apparently it applies to both of you. So you're doing your work. It's adding to the relationship, to the connection. And each one of you are going into the deep for some healing and some balance. It's really beautiful. So we're going to uh, hop and skip over to Patreon for the extended reading and see how this plays out. Um, you, As this reading predicted, there's some kind of an ending coming forward. 
and it's going to create the ability. Yeah, there's a lot here. So some kind of an ending. I think it's for your partner. They have to bring forward this ending because they're what they're manifesting is this and they're walking toward it. So, you know, some of you might be connected with somebody who's ending a job relationship, ending a family relationship. They're ending some kind of cycle in their life. It might be a little literal relationship because they are in a, a moment of shift and change and they know. So here was, here's what's on the bottom of the deck. Head over to Patreon and we'll continue on this discovery path with the Knight of Wands and we'll see where the Knight of Wands is going. Okay, gang, thanks for being here. Please click the like button. It makes a gigantic difference uh, to every creator whose channel you visit. Please at least say thank you. I'm really um, sort of working on being more vocally supportive of all the content creators here on YouTube. Uh, it's just an, an, it's a loving act to click the like button. Something drew you to whatever information was there. Lots of things could be said about it. So I'm trying to just lovingly encourage everybody and, and um, help the audience learn the importance of supporting the content creator so that we can continue on. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you over on Patreon. Bye now.